This week we tackle two movie myths. Can you stop yourself if you push down a hill? And can you smash a lock with air? That's just the one thing Okay, I know some hills nearby. It's where we did the speedboat in the river. Perfect. We'll simply row down the hill and attempt to stop. Great. Nothing more to do but get out there. So where are we? We're on location. We talked about what we're doing in the blueprint room. Over there are the perfect sandy hills for us to roll down. The sandy because there'll be no rocks for us to get hurt with. So, there's nothing left to do but roll. Let's go. Okay, so here we are at the Lucas bike track. It's so hot, I can't wait to roll down. Yeah, we're going to be rolling down a certain hill that's over there. We're going to roll down it once with no stopping. Then we're going to roll down it and try to stop ourselves. Basically, we want to know, in the movies, when they get pushed down a hill, they keep rolling. But in reality, can you actually physically help yourself and stop you from rolling down the hill? So this is Harry, test one. Not trying to stop. Okay, this is my turn now, and I'm gonna try to go down the hill without stopping. Oh, you didn't... oh my god! I get up. Oh. Time to find out what we think about being able to stop. I think if you go down the hill, we can immediately stop because you've got a good grip in your legs. I think as long as you can stretch your legs and arms out, you'll be able to stop when you roll down the hill because you can grab onto plants, rocks, anything. Okay, I'm going to do my second test now and I'm going to stop as soon as I can. If my distance is shorter than the first time, then I win. I win because the myth is busted. Now, we didn't mark out where we last stopped, but we have a reasonable idea and we really expect us to be able to stop. So we haven't really marked them out, so let's go. Crab. Okay, this is my second turn. Right now, I'm gonna go down the hill and try to stop. Okay. I stopped. Okay, we just finished the test. Could you stop when you were rolling down? Yes. So what does that mean? We have busted. Let's go home. Yeah. With the first myth busted, what will the result be in this next myth? Well, we're back. A little sandier, but do we have a result? Yes, we do. We were both able to stop very quickly after rolling, compared to when we rolled down the hill without doing nothing. So we're busted. Correct. Well, we actually have another myth for this episode, and it's very cool. Cool is and awesome, or cool is and cold? Both. Shit. Well, instead of telling you, I'm going to show you. No idea, but it's starting to look pretty good. Alright, it's going like everywhere. Oh, I'm out. Get this. Knock that crap off. Nice! Oh! Great success! I know this works! Nice job. I like this. Look at it now. Yeah. There's not much left there. Nice little, uh... Just take this off and we are in. Sweet deal. Where's the rest of the walk? I think it's shattered yeah. somewhere. There's a piece over there. Wow, so they break the lock with air cans. Yep, we have some air cans right here. What's in them? Well, they're used for cleaning electronic components and they're actually filled with fluorocarbons, which are greenhouse gases and are commonly used for refrigeration. When you spray the can upright, the gas comes out as air. However, when you turn it upside down, the gas comes out as a liquid and is extremely cold. So what's the plan? 
Well, instead of using a toolbox, let's just hang it in front of a concrete wall. We'll spray it, smash it, and because it's against a concrete wall, we'll be able to see clearly what's going on with the cameras. Sure. Okay, we're going to start with this padlock here. We know it works. The key opens it, like so. We're going to tie it on the string behind me, on the X. We're going to spray it up with the freezing air, and then we're going to hit it with the hammer. I'm going to spray it wet first, okay? Okay. Here we go. Three, two, two. Okay, we just did take one. We froze a lot, lots of steam, smoke. I hit it, nothing happened. Uh, this time I'm going to use the whole can, I'm going to hit it harder, see what happens. So that was just a test. Okay, we've just used a full can on this lock. We've hit it loads of times on the top, in the middle, on the lock. This is still freezing, it's steaming as you can see, but I can still turn the key and open it. The padlock still works. This myth, it locks as well. This myth is completely busted. and utterly busted for this lock. This is an average lock. The one in the video may have been a cheap lock, we don't know. They may have used another chemical such as liquid nitrogen which is a lot colder. Nitrogen? It could have did the damage, we don't know. So as far as we're concerned, using a can of air on an average lock is completely busted. There's no way on earth it'll break. Okay, yesterday we tried to break the lock with controlled tests. We went outside, we tried to break it with a hammer against concrete. Didn't work. I think we should go back to the original video where they had a toolbox and the lock was on the toolbox and they hit it. So we have a toolbox here, a hammer, more air. We're just going to try it again. This is exactly how it was in the video. If this doesn't work, it's busted. Instead of standing here, why don't we just do it? Okay, I'm going to wear some goggles. I've got some gloves because yesterday I found out that when you get free on uh, in your hand, it hurts a lot. So we've got some gloves today. Which is a full can, a full can of air with, with or without the nozzle? Without. Without. Okay, I'm going to blast a full can on this lock all the way around it, hit it with a hammer, see what happens. This is exactly what they did in the video. Here we go. Okay, that's not that can gone. You ready? Wait. <coughs> right. Here we go. This lock will not break. <laughs> Can we please stop this myth? Myth? Myth busted! <laughs> 